With video games becoming increasingly cinematic, it is no surprise that a number of A-list actors are making their way to the world of video games. Whether they make a full-on appearance in a game or just sneakily provide their voice, here are 15 of the most notable actors who have appeared or cameoed in a video game. Cyberpunk 2077 brought Keanu Reeves to life in the game. Tags belong to a man who sacrificed his life for mine in Mexico. While Reeves' Johnny Silverhand is only a playable character for a short time, Silverhand has a great influence on the game, and Reeves' presence can be felt in the character, which is unsurprising seeing as he was one of CD Projekt Red's main marketing tools. But Cyberpunk 2077 isn't the only Reeves video game appearance, with his likeness appearing in Bill & Ted's excellent video game adventure, The Matrix, and even Fortnite, to name a few. Hideo Kojima marketed Death Stranding with an enigmatic trailer starring a nude Norman Reedus, and the game quickly generated some buzz. When the game was finally released, we understood that Norman Reedus played a courier named Sam Porter Bridges, who brings supplies to isolated colonies amongst a dystopian world. Doesn't mean there's a place for me. I've got no ties to anyone or anything. Alongside Reedus, the game used the likenesses of Mads Mikkelsen, Leia Sadu, Conan O'Brien, Margaret Qualley, and even directors Guillermo del Toro, Edgar Wright, and Nicholas Winding Refn. Death Stranding wasn't Kojima and Reedus' first collaboration, though, with Reedus cast in the Silent Hill sequel until it eventually fell through. Since Call of Duty's steep rise to the top, they have had many, many, many actors appear in-game. One of the most notable was Game of Thrones actor Kit Harington, who served as the main antagonist in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Admiral Salen Koch. Koch was a ruthless, win-at-all-costs type of leader and wasn't afraid to sacrifice his own men to get what he wanted. There will be no rest for the enemies of the front. Alongside Harrington, actors such as Gary Oldman, Jeff Goldblum, Ron Perlman, Jason Statham, Heather Graham, Timothy Oliphant, Michael Keaton, Jimmy Kimmel, Kevin Spacey, Ice Cube, Katie Sackhoff, David Tennant, Sam Worthington, Idris Elba, Billy Murray, and Kiefer Sutherland have all given their voice and or likeness to the series. And that's not even all of them. Speaking of Kiefer Sutherland, Call of Duty isn't the only video game franchise he's lent his voice to. Sutherland provided the voice for Combat Medic turned Mercenary Commando Venom Snake in Metal Gear 5 The Phantom Pain. You are right, he is not one of us, but we are not responsible to judge an enemy. Kojima himself also appeared in the game where he is the center of a rescue mission and is unmasked after being found chained with a bag on his head. Liam Neeson also played a role in one of the biggest video game franchises of all time, Fallout. Neeson plays the character of James in Fallout 3. But in the end, I much prefer having opposable thumbs. And was apparently drawn to the game by its compelling story, which will make sense to anyone who has actually played it. Grand Theft Auto has been blessed with many great antagonists across its run, but none are arguably quite as memorable as GTA San Andreas main villain Frank Tenpenny, voiced by the great Samuel L. Jackson. You haven't forgotten about us, have you, boy? Tenpenny is a corrupt officer and leader of the Crash Unit, and is known for his ruthlessness, manipulative personality, and for being an all-around jerk. Rami Malek was Josh Washington in the survival horror game Until Dawn. Washington is the brother of the twin sisters that went missing the year before and is also one of the game's playable protagonists. Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. And you have to admit, the likeness is pretty close. Another star to feature in Until Dawn was Heroes and Nashville actor Hayden Panettiere. Now, despite popular belief, Elliot Page did not appear in or have an affiliation with The Last of Us, but at this point it's pretty common knowledge that the initial design for Ellie was based off of Page. After Page called The Last of Us out on it, they subsequently had to redesign the character and base the likeness more on Ashley Johnson, the actor who provides Ellie's voice. But Page did actually appear in a video game as the lead protagonist in Beyond Two Souls, beside the great Willem Dafoe. The game was recorded through motion capture and the script was reportedly 2,000 pages pages long, with the crew having to shoot 30 to 40 pages of content a day. Yeah, whatever, I just like threw these old things on because, yeah, I'm cool. Fans at least appreciated the effort. Elijah Wood will forever be known as Frodo, but he has also played another iconic character, Spyro. It's good to see you too. Wood, who is an avid video gamer, voiced the Purple Dragon, taking over from Tom Kinney, in the Legend of Spyro trilogy. 
Mark Hamill voiced the Joker for quite some time, and is arguably one of the best to ever do it. Hamill voiced the Clown Prince of Crime alongside Kevin Conroy's Batman in the Arkham franchise, and their performances elevated what was already an amazing game series. You deserve a prize! Seriously, I can't pick a winner out of the trilogy. They're all great. If you haven't played them, go do that. Go sit on that couch, play that video game, man. Now, fans associate Kristen Bell with either Frozen The Good Place or Veronica Mars, but for video game buffs, you may know her from Assassin's Creed. Bell voiced the character of genetic memory researcher Lucy Stillman in Assassin's Creed 1, 2, and Brotherhood. There is also a vague likeness there, but I mean, it's, it's no Norman Reedus in Death Stranding now, is it? During Game of Thrones' peak, Peter Dinklage was one of the hottest commodities in the acting world after blowing everyone away with his amazing performance as Tyrion Lannister. So when it was announced he would be lending his voice to Bungie's post-Halo venture, Destiny, it was seen as a major coup. But after the game's release, Destiny, and in particular Dinklage's character of Ghost, were met with, uh, well, major criticisms, with critics condemning both the dialogue and Dinklage's monotone voice work. The only place the Traveler can still protect. Dinklage's work was replaced by Nolan North, which, to be totally honest, uh, feels a tad harsh. Speaking of Dinklage, his on-screen father and fellow Game of Thrones alumni, Charles Dance, has also appeared in the video game world, although his reception was a lot warmer. That's partly because his talents for playing commanding, cunning, and authoritative characters made him the perfect match to voice Amir Var Emrys? Emrys? Guys, I haven't played these games. You're killing me with these names. What the heck? Come on. And I need to hear again exactly how that client wants me to say this script. Emhir Var Emrys in The Witcher 3. Unfortunately, though, it is unlikely that he will be making an appearance in the Netflix series, but yeah, you never know. Ever since Firefly, Nathan Fillion has firmly nestled his way into people's hearts. Just take Big Mouth, for example. One of his best performances comes in Halo 3 ODST, with Fillion providing his voice and likeness to the character of Edward Buck, all the while stealing the hearts and minds of Halo fans everywhere. Buy the first drink when we're done. And finally, let's end with the legend, Burt Reynolds. The Smokey and the Bandit star did appear in Grand Theft Auto Vice City, but his most notable video game role has to be in Saints Row the Third. Burt Reynolds? Who else could keep this town running? Reynolds makes his appearance as the mayor of Steelport during the zombie attack, and he is hard to miss with his trademark cowboy hat and mustache. Hmm, that mustache. In amongst all the violence, bloodshed, and vehicle thievery, if you ever wanted to blow off some steam in GTA 4, one of the best things to do was go and catch a comedy set performed by an actual stand-up comedian, Ricky Gervais. It's actually pretty good. Rotund? That sounds like a giant wombat. I'm not rotund.